What's going on, guys? This is Mr. Solo Dolo coming back with another video. Hope all is well. God bless every single one of y'all that tuned in to watch this video. You know, God is good, man. You know, he woke me up this morning. You know what I'm saying? He gave me the ability to talk, come on here and make this video, and talk to you guys, and give y'all this word for today. You know, a lot of us, you know, we got to stop looking for friends. You know, we got to stop searching for friendships. You see, friendships, one thing I learned about friendships, and you will definitely find this in the Bible. Friendships are born out of adversity. Friendships come from adversity. Friendships do not become formed. From just going to a bar, talking to random strangers, having a conversation. Friendships are not formed out of, oh, what's your favorite TV show? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite video game? No. That's not how friendships are formed. Friendships are not born out of just common, uh, having things in common. You know, friendships... You know, they have to be formed from adversity. When you're going through something, when you're when you're down and out, when you hit rock bottom, you know, you're on your last leg. And some people, certain people, they come into your life, you know, to give you that helping hand, to reach out and grab you, pick you up when you're down. You know, those are the people that... That when you're in trouble, they come for you, right? They have your back. The Most High sent those people in your life to get you back on track, to get you back on your feet. You know, those are the friendships that you need to that you that you need to keep, that you need to cultivate. You know, those are the friendships that come out of adversity. Sometimes the Most High will send you to somebody else's life to to get them out of their own their own rock bottom to help them out right to be a helping hand to them you know sometimes the most high will put you in, in that situation to where you become a blessing for other people for somebody else or you know and vice versa you know friendships don't come from just simple things you know, just idle things. That's not how friendships are are made. And to me, those are not even friends. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if you're my friend and we haven't been through nothing together, we haven't overcame no type of adversity together. We haven't been through our own trial and error, our own through our, our own trial and tribulations in our own life. We haven't overcame that at all. What's going to make us friends? What's going to make us brothers? What's going to keep that bond tight? You know, like what's so organic about that? You know, there's nothing organic about a forced friendship. Where you're forced to go out, go outside, go to different social events, and just have a conversation. You know, you may just make an acquaintance out of that person, but a friendship, I doubt it. You know, those friendships, you know, those quote unquote friendships, they don't tend to last. They don't tend to really go far. Because the most Pure friendships, man, the most pure organic friendships are ones that are that are born out of adversity. Whether you're going through adversity or the person that you're friends with, they have overcame adversity. They have gone through adversity. Right? Whether you whether you had their back through adversity or you or they had your back through adversity, or it could be a situation where y'all both we're going through the fire together. Y'all, y'all both were going through the tough times and the struggle. 
You know, you can't find a lot of people like that. I'm going to be very honest with you. You cannot find a lot of people like that, that are real, right? That have gone through the adversity, that have gone through the fire, that are willing to have your back when you're in trouble, when you're in need. There's not a lot of people like that, that are real, that are genuine. It's hard, man. It's really hard to come by people like that. It's very hard. But you have to understand that just looking for friends, just trying to look for friends and force, having forced interactions, it's not the way to go. You know, you're wasting your time if you're doing that. You know, like you have to give it time. The same thing when it comes to relationships, you have to give that time. You're trying to go out and look for a girlfriend You're trying to go out and look for your woman out in bars and clubs and parties and at work. And you're not going to find her because you're too busy trying to chase. You know, as a man, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, if you're doing what you need to be doing, guess what? Those friends that you're looking for, the friends that you are looking to manifest, they are going to come organically. You see, some people will just show up in your life at the right place in the right time. You feel me? That woman that you're searching for, that you are looking to manifest, she will come at the right place at the right time. You know what I'm saying? You can't rush it. You can't force it. Because if you rush something, it's not going to be organic. It's never going to work out. Okay, anything that is forced, there's always going to be a natural resistance that follows after that. And it's never going to pander out. It's never going to work. Like, you got to give things time. You have to be patient with people, with life, with, with the Lord. You have to. And you have to be on your P's and Q's and doing what you need to do in the meantime and those people will eventually they'll come around the right people will come around you know it may not seem like it right now and in, especially in my life it definitely seems like that's not going to happen but you see one thing about me is I am learning every day to have faith That's all I have when it comes to the most high. I have faith that things will work out in due time. You know, things will definitely come together. The pieces will start to fall in place and things are going to work out. As long as I am obedient, as long as I stay faithful, as long as I, you know, remain um, righteous and I follow the path that the Most High has me on. And I'm not out of alignment. I'm not out of order. You know, I need to remain in alignment at all times. And things will eventually come into my favor. But it's all about, man, it's really all about having patience. You can be doing the right thing. You can be on your purpose. You can be grinding, working hard, staying focused, and you may not see no results. You may not you, you may not see a whole bunch of blessings come your way. But this is where this is where God is testing your resilience. He's testing your willpower, he's testing how strong of a human being you are. Right? To see how 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 much you can handle the fire, how much you can handle hard times. He's going to put you through the test, but it's up to you to pass the test. It's up to you to go through the fire and still remain solid. You understand? So don't waste your time looking for people, forcing friendships, forcing relationships. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. You know, you have to do what you have to do first. Make sure you're in alignment. 
make sure that you're getting your stuff done and stay focused on the mission. And I guarantee you that the right people will come along, right? They will come along. They're going to be at the right place, the right time. But just be patient. That's all you have to do at the end of the day is be patient. Remain disciplined. You know what I'm saying? Stay away from things that are going to take you off your path. Stay away from people that are out of alignment, that do not match your frequency. They don't match your energy. Stay away from those people. Stay away from people that that give you a negative vibe. Something about them, it just doesn't sit well with your spirit. You know, they come off very hostile and something about them, it just, it, it doesn't sit right. You know, stay away from those people, keep your distance. You know, if a situation doesn't look right to you, do not indulge in that situation, right? That goes with people, that goes with anything in life. If something seems to be out of your alignment, do not entertain it. Going into the new year, going into the new year, you need to stay on your path. You need to stay in alignment. The Most High has you on this path for a reason. He's not going to direct you to a, a different path unless, unless he says so, unless that's his plan for you. But if he has you on this path for a reason and there's something and there's something to gain with staying on this path, then you need to stay on that path because that's how you're going to remain in alignment. Don't rush anything. Don't rush nothing in life. Don't rush any relationships. Don't rush any friendships. Don't force any interactions with people. Because there's a lot of people, man. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people that are not on your frequency. They're not matching your vibration. And you, and you ain't got no time to be around people that are not matching up to your vibration. They do not match up to your frequency. Those are the people that are going to distract you. They are going to take you off your focus. So I would really recommend that you stay away from those people. Even if yeah, even if it's your family, your immediate family, they're not on the same vibration as you. They're not, you know, they're not matching your frequency. You know what I'm saying? Keep them from a distance. Keep them at a distance. You know, this ain't the time to lose your focus. So that being said, man, I want to give y'all that message. I want to let y'all know, like, listen, I know a lot of y'all looking for relationships. Y'all looking for friends and all that. Like, that's good. You want to talk to people. You want to conversate with people. But I'm just saying, like, don't force anything that's not meant to be. If it's not meant to be, if it's not organic, don't bother with it. Because with me personally, I only deal with organic friendships, organic interactions. I ain't got no time to force anything with nobody. I ain't got time to be tracking nobody nobody down. I don't got time to be chasing nobody down. You know what I'm saying? If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. The same thing goes for you ladies. If one of you ladies happen to stumble upon this video, don't chase no man down. Don't track no man down. Be patient. You just gotta. Be, you just gotta have a, out of a out of a relationship. I'm stuttering and shit. You just gotta out of a relationship. You know what I'm saying. You need that break. You need that time. You know what I'm saying to regroup, to re-energize, and then get your mind right. You know, use that time. Use that alone time to get yourself right. To get yourself in order. To get yourself in alignment. Because the Most High has us alone for a reason. And we need to use our alone time to get ourselves in order, in alignment for what the Most High has for us.
So with that being said, make sure y'all like the video. Pound that like button for the algorithm. Subscribe if you are new. More content is to come. This is Mr. Silodolo, and I'm out, man. Peace.